So for people who aren't already familiar with the film The King, what can they expect? They can expect a sort of uh, version of Henry IV and Henry V, uh, but a fictionalised version of it, a lot of battles. It's, in, it's a modern story, it's a contemporary story. Um, it's about war, it's about men being pushed to war by forces that they're not really in control of. And it's about wise women as well. And what particularly drew you to being involved with the film? Was there something that stood out for you? When I was eight, I wanted to be in a film like this. And we, we were. Fighting films. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is, you know, Shakespeare can be retold again and again. It continually has a relevance, whether it's adapted on stage or screen. And this is just a brilliantly unique adaptation for screen. It, it's with its own language, contemporary language. Um, so it's, it's yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's an incredible cast. And, um, excellent dialogue, excellent script. And that's what you want as an actor. We got to run around in the mud with swords. <laughs> mud. I mean, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I love it. You know? Yeah. That's my <laughs> yeah. We and, loved it. And on that note, you know, producing something on this like epic scale, you know, and medieval set piece, what are some of the challenges? Were there some really tough moments on set? It was hot, wasn't it? It was hot yeah, in Budapest, hot. where we did a lot of the exteriors. It was swelteringly hot. So was, um, just keeping cool in full body armour was the biggest they challenge, the I think. Scenes, yeah. not me, so yeah. they had a top of time. Um, Lots of ice down the back of our armour. <laughs> yeah, yeah ice water suits. constantly cooling us down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's been a lot of buzz around Timothy Chalamet in particular, so what's it like having, you know, you know like, what's it like working with him? Wonderful, wonderful guy. Yeah. What powerful actor that gives everything from the heart. And a, and a humble, wonderful, kind, friendly human being. Lovely guy. It's, it's extraordinary what's happening for him, and he, des he deserves it, yeah, but he's, yeah. he's really centred, he's really calm, he's generous. He's, he's, he's been great. He's yeah. been great. I think, as Joel put it, is there's a sort of Shalomania, which is very Shalomania. deserved, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, cool. That's very accurate. Oh, yeah. and, um, he's yeah. a lovely man, though. <laughs> yeah. Really great deserves guy, it. Timmy. And obviously it does draw on Shakespeare, say in medieval times, but you know, what do you think it can say to a contemporary audience? You know, and there's some themes there to pick up on. Shakespeare was such a beautiful writer, knows so much about humanity that he will speak to all the ages always. And I think script, uh, the script with Joel and, uh, and David wrote a brilliant adaptation of that story. I think it has a, um, a lot to say on power too, especially of what's happening, what we're witnessing at the moment around the world. Uh, and short-termist approaches to governance. Um, I think it has a lot to say on that, you know, which hopefully that'll inspire some leaders to sort some things out. Yeah. You know. <laughs> it's, it's powerful people being driven to war by powers that they don't really understand. And I think there's a lot of relevance to that today, really. Um, so I, I, think it, I do think it's got a contemporary relevance. So uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. Actually, first time. Yeah. Amazing. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for your time. See you. Thanks.